The return from a method can be any one value. That is, you can return any one of the fundamental data types. When you declare a method, you have to declare the return type of that method. If a method does not have a return value, you must declare it as returning a void type. If a method returns a value, you have to have a return statement inside the method that returns something of that type. If you declare the method as void, you can skip the return statement altogether or just use a return statement that doesn't have an argument. You can also return objects of any type, including arrays. It just returns the reference to the object. You can create the object or array inside the method and return it. If the calling program doesn't save the returned reference, or saves it and throws it away later, then the garbage collector will take care of it for you. There was one special sort of return that was added in Java 5.0, the covariant return. The best way to explain this is with an example. This example program doesn't actually run and display anything, but it does compile and it shows you an example of the covariant return. It consists of four classes. The alpha class is mostly empty. It just has a two-string method that returns an identifying string for the class. Now the beta class extends the alpha class and implements its own two-string method. It's mostly empty too. Alpha and beta are just used for demo down below. Here is a class named Aleph. It has one method. It has a method named Cback that returns an alpha object to its caller. So far, so good. Everything is standard so far. Here is a class named Beth. It is an extension of the Aleph class and overrides the method named Cback. But the overriding method returns a beta object, not an alpha object. Normally, when you override a method, you must return exactly the same type of object. But in this case, the overriding method is returning a subclass of the original returned class. That is, the returned object is an object that can be cast into an alpha object, so it fits the requirement of an overriding method. This is what is known as a covariant return. Generally, when one method overrides another, the overriding method must return the exact same data type. This is the only exception, and it was added in Java 5.0.